secret what God can do. I bring you greetings of victory in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And welcome to another session of our five-minute early morning prayer session known as Moment of Mercy. In this edition of the program, I want to bring our way a brief exhortation on the topic, The Idols of the Wicked Will Fail Them, and that will serve as our focus in the prayer points. First, let me read from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 42 and 43. It says, And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was only a youth, ruddy and good-looking. So the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. This portion of the scripture presents to us part of the speech of the Philistine giant and champion known as Goliath to David, who stood for Israel in that decisive battle that brought down Goliath. I would want us to take note of the intimidating size of Goliath the giant. He was more than nine feet tall. Such giants normally have six toes. His appearance and weapons of warfare with him we are an intimidating one. More, when you compare them with the appearance of David, his opponent, who was just about 17 years old as a then and has not been a professional soldier like Goliath. When Goliath saw David, his opponent, approach him with just a sling and a wooden staff, Goliath felt insulted and declared, Am I a dog that David should come out with a stick to fight me? Goliath quickly did something that shows that he, Goliath, was terrified with David's appearance. After despising David, he cursed David or made negative pronouncements against David in the name of his idols. Mortals appeal to their deity or gods for help when they meet with strong challenges. Yes, it's true that Goliath despised David, yet he used the name of his gods to speak against David. This is because he saw an unusual divine presence or glory with David. Goliath was not just into psychological warfare in this case. He was actually terrified, and he resorted to the spirit realm for help against David. My dear listener, if you are a born-again child of God, can I tell you this? You are a carrier of God's glory, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Not only it... Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Number three, there is no enchantment against you, no divination against you. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for all my listeners at this time, and I plead the precious blood of the Lamb of God over each of them. Is there any of them that is not yet born again? I ask you reveal yourself unto such one, unto salvation, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I bless your name that we are hid with Christ in you and that you are the wall of fire round about us and the glory in our midst. Therefore, I ask, Lord, protect these ones praying with me. Give them victory over every satanic manipulation and pronouncement against them. And by your help, let every giant, every Goliath against each of them go down before them this day and continually in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear listener, do not forget that this moment of mercy, a five-minute prayer session, is an everyday affair. 
you can enjoy it by going to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. The address is Lifeline Assembly Headquarters. Till the same time tomorrow, this is your brother, Bishop Maxwell C. Korea, saying, God bless you. With arms wide open.